This is the news. Good evening. Welcome to the weekend edition of the news. I'm Dave Brown. One of this state's most notable murder mysteries is not about to be forgotten. That is, if the mother of the victim has anything to say about it. In July of 1988, Caitlin Arquette was shot to death on Albuquerque Street. Now, as Elisa Becerra reports, Caitlin's mother is hoping national publicity puts the case back on the front burner. I have a very strong gut feeling that we are going to find out the truth. It's been almost four years since 18-year-old Caitlin Arquette was shot dead in her car. The police still contend the murder was random, but to this day, investigators are stumped. Caitlin's mother says she has her own theory and that she won't give up until she knows the truth. Lois Duncan was in Boston this morning, but told us on a phone conversation about her intentions to pursue the case. The police told a reporter on national television that the case is done. They don't expect ever to make any more arrests. And that means if we don't do something to generate some action ourselves, the case will never be solved. Mrs. Duncan believes that her daughter carried deadly secrets involving organized crime within Asian gangs. Just a few days ago, there were a stack of these, a book by Lois Duncan entitled, Who Killed My Daughter? It's a question she's still waiting to be answered, and it's a local case that's taken on a national interest. We've sold out quite rapidly. We've gotten a number of calls, and actually, uh, I think he bought the last copy, and we're caught short now. So. Next week, Lois Duncan, as well as District Attorney Bob Schwartz, will appear on Larry King Live. Uh, Mrs. Duncan and I, we, we all want the same thing. We would like somebody to come forward, whether it's uh, in more along the theory that we have maintained in terms of who's responsible for her daughter's murder or the theory that she is promoting. Duncan has already appeared on Good Morning America and will be making her rounds throughout the country, telling her true story and hoping someone will come forward. Alisa Becerra with the news from Albuquerque.